Ladies and gentlemen, I am taking Betsy for a little uh, vacation here. We're going to grab some logs. Javius and Rural Pilot are off in the forest delivering wood to the depot. Uh, tonight we have bought two coal hoppers, and I'm looking to buy a third. And I've got the Class 48 up at the depot or up at the yard waiting for them. So once I have those in possession, we're going to start unloading coal. I'm sorry. We're going to start unloading iron ore from the iron ore mine and delivering it down to our smelter because uh, that line is done. So I figured I'd take you guys for that. But uh, in the meantime, this is what we're doing. And so uh, it, we're having fun. I'll be back when we get closer. So we're down here. I've got, I've got Betsy refilled with wood. And I'm realizing I need... She's pretty low on water, so I'm going to fill her up here, too, while we're down in this area. We were talking about Canada and the nasty milk bags. You back at the sawmill? Yeah, I'm, I'm at the, well, lumber lumber mill still. I've got my load of logs, but I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm realizing how low Betsy is, and I want to fill, fill water okay. back up before I bring her back down to the, the sawmill. Uh, we're headed. We're headed back. I'll let okay. you know when we clear the crossing. Okay, you'll probably beat me there. I, I'm. I got to stop and water up and then head out. So, the way the rural pilot drives, yeah, we'll be there before you. He's a little, a little bit of a fast driver, huh? I'm not sure where to set the speed at. We want to get there, but we don't want to derail. Right. <laughs> we got enough for another hopper. So once I deliver these, we'll have all a little bit extra left over too. Sweet. It's good news. Come on, Betsy. All right, so Betsy's filling up. We got quite a lot of water to put in there. She's pretty empty. Um, so are you you're heat, you said you're heating up the class forty eight. I am. If you would hold off on buying the next car until I can get these two. Okay. Out of the way. You got it. Switch tracks. I'll be here. I, I forgot to open up the cylinder corks. Are they open? Is that like an engine brake? Is that what that does? The cylinder cock is so that you don't build up so much pressure that you explode the cylinders. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, when the engine... St I think we're full. When the engine stops... Poke my head in here. Here. Um... Usually they turn they, they open the cocks before they come into the station and leave them open, and then they close them after they leave the station, maybe a minute or two after they leave. That's why when you see steam trains leaving the station, they have tons of steam pouring out of them. All right, yeah. Yeah, in the game, it doesn't, it doesn't um, model that yet, but I have a feeling the way these guys are going, they probably are going to model it at some point. Oh, Just yeah. the fact that but it's the, in the game. The cylinder cocks still have a, a purpose in the game, though. Yep. Yeah, there's no purpose right now aside from looking cool. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> but yeah. they will. I'm sure they will. In real life, when it when that locomotive sits there, it'll end up collecting water in the cylinders, in the pistons. And All right. if you then try to compress the steam in those cylinders to start moving... With the water, the water won't compress. Oh, I see. Yeah. And then you blow the seals out of the cylinder and nothing's moving after that. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot of steam. <laughs> so the, the cylinder cocks is sort of like a valve that just lets the water drain. Yep. 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 Okay. All right. And this I'm going a little fast. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. I wish I had access to the car brake. This engine's on the wrong end of the train. <laughs> oh, is that line that goes up there just up and back? There's no loop. It just reverses on the way down. It does, but I I was using the Betsy to push when I couldn't get Del Norte to go up to the iron mine the first run because I didn't know that it wasn't going to make it. I had to take Betsy out there to help push. Oh, okay. So in the process, she got turned around backwards and is now connected to the wrong end of the train. <laughs> so, or or one or the other. Um, so I think she's she'll be pretty easy to get reconnected. But I think either way, she's still going to be facing the wrong direction. 
Right, yeah. I gotta figure that out. Yeah. Alright, this train's all loaded at the lumber mill. Right, I think I can figure out how to do it. Alright, go ahead and take it on up to the mine, I guess. Or where should we go with that, Javius? I am going to log out and log back in. Uh-oh, what happened? I stepped out of the class 48 and was looking at the three hoppers and no class 48, just like was happening with the Betsy earlier. So oh, weird. Okay. I'm going to leave and come back and see if it's resolved. Okay. Hopefully we won't need a server restart. <laughs> All right, so I am clear of the crossover. I am now pulling into the sawmill. And I'm going to put the brake on. We probably aren't going to stop in time. Oh, Lord. Oh, I've got my... Push! <laughs> Push! Yeah, I always try to have the first car handbrake right next to Betsy so I can... Yeah, unfortunately, that's on the other side of the... Give me some extra breaks. <laughs> Stop, dang you. I got it. Stopped now. Push. Okay. Oh. Oh, is the brake on? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Like, come on. You can do it. Oh, I guess you can't. All right. So we'll unload this. And then I'm. Uh, and you're in the class 48, Javius? Yep. I just so, got back. Double check and brakes. That's We're such a cute good. little train. I know she's adorable. Actually, the 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 other one, the the Porter Two, was better because it's got a larger, like a larger tender area, so you can carry like twice as much wood. Oh yeah. But you get this one for free. I wish you could sell it and upgrade it, but you can't. Okay, do I do not have the desync issue. I'm not. My locomotive isn't disappearing when I get out of it. Okay, so I guess I, the only I want to I, I like doing stuff like the way you're supposed to do it. Hmm. I'm trying to figure out if there's a way I can get this engine to face the right direction. If you go to where there's a loop, yeah. Well, and the other thing too is though it's got I have to be attached to this end because I want to be have the handbrake right behind uh, me. Yeah, and it's got to be facing the same direction it is now on that end. So hmm. I want a loop, but I don't want a loop. There's no three-point <laughs> turns in railroads online. Right. No. This is where, this is that, you know, I don't know if you guys ever had Model Railroader magazine. As a nerd kid in high school, I did. And um, they would, every every month, they would give you a switching puzzle. Like, how many moves does it take to get these cars put into the siding without, like, yeah. flipping the locomotive? There's always some challenge, like, to figure out. Uh, I'm assuming you can cheat and pick the train up and put it at the yes. front. But you don't yes, yes, do I'm yeah. too stubborn to do that. Okay. Yes, this is. I think this is the much more elegant solution because it's a cool train, and she's bone cold. Is that the right? That's not the terminology. Ice I cold. That, I think it's stone. Would be with the oh, stone, stone yeah. cold. There you go. You can drive this one if you want. Go ahead and back it up. And okay. I will get you, I'll make sure you're, I think you're on the right track already. So once you go around, you should be able to drive it now because it has some pressure in the boiler. The water temp is 12. Mm. Yeah, but you still have pressure left over from when we were running it before. Oh, it's struggling. <laughs> is it? Is the brake on on the hand? I, sometimes I leave the brake on on the, uh... no, it's not. Okay. Weird. Is it possible to stall a train? Yeah. Yes. What is the boiler pressure on there? Uh, boiler pressure, 117. Yeah, it should be. that. That's plenty. Oh, that should work. Reversers and full ahead or full back. Yep. Breaks off. He's cooking now. This engine yeah. is a little slower. You're used to the power of the Glenbrook. Oh, uh, yeah. This one does not have nearly as much power. What's he driving? What's he driving? The Del Norte. <laughs> we still have the same issue. You're fine, oh. though. because Now, here's the thing. With that engine, 
you use the tender as a second brake, so it doesn't have to have access to the to the car brake. So you're fine. Oh yeah. So we'll just hook it up with Betsy right behind it. Oh, we all got all the pens in and everything. Yep, ready to ready to go. All right, I'm going through the switch under the bridge to head towards the mine. Okay. Oops. You're good. And let me turn the brake off here. Make sure these... Oh, these cars weren't attached. What? Oh, I must have detached them. Okay, push it back further. <laughs> Sorry. I thought I hit it too hard and knocked them loose. No, you're fine. That was me. That's already got the clip, so we'll... A little further. Cute. Doop. All right. Where are we taking this thing now? Oh, that's just staying here. Oh, okay. How, how do you shut the, these things off, or do you not? Just leave, just turn the brake on and turn the hand turn the hand brake on on the the coal car, or on the, the oh, tender. Yeah. And that way you got it's double braked, and then we'll grab the other engine and we'll follow JVS up the mountain. Okay. Let's go grab the other engine. Yes, we can. There's a dog in my office. Yes, there is. That, are you bringing the, the wood train up? Yep. Yeah, we'll follow behind you. I keep over jumping. You jump so far. <laughs> Sometimes you can Am look I... at the at the floor from the like from the the ground, and you, it just takes you up. How's oh, okay. the how's our wood on this one? Is it pretty? Uh, fuel 15. I'll throw some in. Okay. I'm the fireman. Ready to go, sir. She's all fired up. All right. I'm going. Sorry about that. Where are you at? What is it? I'm clear of the sawmill complex switch. Oh, okay. All right. So you guys can uh, proceed in behind me when you are ready. We're on the way. Oh, sorry. I grabbed the regulator. I'm sorry. <laughs> I meant to do this. <laughs> I meant to grab the horn. That was the regulator. So put it wherever you want. I hope you're not recording at the moment. Uh, I am. <laughs> Did you just derail ahead of us? No. Okay. okay. No, Arthur's grabbing things. That's good. Uh, <laughs> but he shouldn't be. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't really the regulator. It was <laughs> yeah, but the train went faster. <laughs> yeah, I'm right behind you. We're in the valley. Hopefully we need to catch it. it. Hopefully staying above it. Right. <laughs> right. Is our headlight on? Mm -hmm. okay. No, it's not. Headlights on or not. Oh, I guess that's not standable. Okay. Try that again. What if Javius's evil twin threw the switch for us to go the other way? What? No, we're good. Oh, if no, because he came in that way, you should have been able to get. Yeah, I'm teasing. We're we're on the bridge. Yeah, because it doesn't oh. matter. I see you up ahead. I was trying to get near the light so I could turn it on. Is the light on now? Yep. Okay. My God, that would be scary to stand out here like this. Yeah. Especially Even at 20 miles an hour, that would be scary. Especially with nothing you can actually grab a hold of. Right. Now, don't get too fast on the bridge, because as we know, it, it tends to like to fling cars. Bring it back a 
it. Oh, and your cylinder cocks are still open. Uh, are they? They're showing off on mine. Oh. Okay. There's Javius going up the mountain with the class 48. How's it handling? Does it feel like, 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 are you full power or is it doing pretty good? I'm at 42%. I've only got three empties. Okay. Yeah, those are heavy though, aren't they? They are. You can see that far? I can't even see them. It's because I'm on the server. The server has oh, a right. longer view distance, which is kind of weird, but. Well, if you're a client, you're not running the game and you have more than eight cars on your train, you can't see them all. Eight cars oh. is about your view distance. Oh, wow. Okay. Lovely day in the mountains. It is beautiful. It was a really nice map. There's a whole other larger valley to our left, but I don't think we're going to go that route this time. You haven't built anything over there yet? No, I was going to. We did last time, but I think, as I think about it, I, I think it's just as easy to go the other way and just, it's like the same distance. Yeah, yeah. We can either go um, back towards the freight depot, like from the smelter, past the sawmill and then to the oil fields and stuff, or go this other valley, but that takes us way far away from it. And then we'll just have a, a mountain line that goes up from the that valley over to the coal mine and back. Um, oh, yeah. That, well, that'll probably be our first, hopefully, train yard when we have more money to buy cars. And we can, we can fill up cars and park them in the yard and then bring empties back the other way. Because that will take a Shea probably, or I don't know. If we keep our trains at like four or five cars. To go over that mountain? Yeah. It's only I a 2% grade. I mean, it's really not that bad of a grade going, or 2.5. The Shea yeah. can make that with four cars. The, definitely the Heisler and the Climax can. I just see a guy taking 20 cars loaded with beams up to the coal mine on oh Reddit. Gosh. That's a, yeah, it's a long train. Did he go through the valley like this, the other valley here, or did he go up the mountain side? He went uh, off the mountain side, it looks. He went right underneath the waterfall. So he went, he went the valley to our left. Okay. Oh, okay. Do that. Yeah, that's what we used to do. We used to pull like eight or ten cars up there, but... You don't really need that many cars to go up there. You spend all that time building that enormously long line. And then Get ready you to stop. need to go up there once or twice and then bring all the coal out and you're done. Yep. Because the ironworks takes very little coal. Per production cycle. Now is Javius up here somewhere? Yeah, he's training. He's in directly in front of us, about two train lengths. Oh, yeah, I see. I just caught the tail end of his train there. All right, yeah, so slow down. Just kind of creep in. Pull on underneath the tipple there, Javius. <laughs> he said tipple. Oh, I loaded this train the wrong way around. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Oh, it's all right. Not that long. About five feet. We are over the hopper. Go ahead and stop. Now, if I do both shoots, does it load twice no, no, as fast? No. Stop, Arthur. Let me do it. No both shoots? I No. I got a trick. Put that. Let's put that up. Do you know how many went in? No. Uh, three. 
Okay, watch the shoot. Oh. Oh my God, that's hilarious. Oh, hang on, I'll drive. You do your little thingy. A little easier? <laughs> A lot easier. Jeez. All you got to do is count. <laughs> You gotta keep the count and keep the mouse up and down motion. I'm so mad that they took out the um, headlights on this engine. Hang on, folks. We'll be right back. We have this. Uh, we have this English cocker spaniel, right? Forward. And um, yeah. he absolutely loves the baby. Stop. Uh oh. And so what he does now, he goes to bed with her every night. Like she, Moni puts her up in the bed, and he comes up and lays on the bed next to her. So he curls up because our the bassinet's pulled up next to the bed, and so he curls up in a ball like right next to her. And if he if she starts crying, he howls. So as soon as she's like wah wah, he's like oh, and of course that scares the crap out of her, and she starts crying more. But it's so funny, like all he right, just all right, we're good. All right, hang on, I'm gonna put some wood on the fire. There we go. And, uh, all right, so are you, let's see, um, are, <laughs> easy now. Are you okay to, to come back down the mountain on your own, real pilot? I think I should be. Okay. All right. Um, we got a switch to throw, Arthur, so. At the halfway point? Yeah. And then we'll throw it back. Yep. I wonder if I could ride on the headlight platform. <laughs> oh, you're so silly, Javius. Well, I can ride on the running board here. That's a uncomfortable looking drop. That does look, yeah. Um, do you have some of the brakes on on the cars? No. It's only no. Three cars. Uh, where's the brakes in here? I don't know. I'll just do the bug of this. I've got it at 100 on the engine. Really? Yeah. I just put it on. All right. I just put 70 on the third car, so you can probably de-brake, unbrake. Oh, and I just jumped off the car. <laughs> That's right, because we're slowing way down, so... Right, did you take your brake off? Yes. And we're still too slow? No, we're good. That's good. Okay. I'm happy with that because we have to stop. So I'd rather be slow than, oh, God, real pilots flying down the line. I'll wait for you. <laughs> I can't see him. Yeah, he's like, you better slow down. <laughs> oh, you're really slow, huh? Mm, yeah. I may take some of that break off. Yeah, we can run a little faster. I was, I had fifty percent brakes on. <laughs> After rocketing out of the facility. <laughs> All right, I'm down to twenty eight percent on this last car. Okay. I see you guys standing up there, but I don't see the train. That's weird. Oh, weird. I must be so close to the back end. <laughs> yeah, well, you're more than a train link behind us. I can see your locomotive in okay. one car. And by the way, Mr. Micah will be joining us again. Don't fret for those of you that miss Mr. Micah. He uh, he had family in town this week, and so he's uh, he's spending time with them. So do not fear, Micah will still be here. All right, so when we get to the bottom of this straightaway, we have to stop, real pilot. So be so be careful. Did you fall off again, Javis? Oh I God! Uh, I'll be uh, catching. Uh, I'll be catching real pilot. Oh good. I'm gonna start breaking here and there.
All right, you've seen this in the movies, right? You just get me up close to the back and I'll jump on. <laughs> That's pretty sweet. I love seeing both engines coming down. Saw that in Fast and Furious, right? I think that was the yeah. movie. Oh, we derailed. Crap. What? Oh, boy. Yeah, you did. What derailed? The uh, cars. Two cars. What? <laughs> Ugh. Why? Probably because I made him speed up. Oh. <laughs> I encouraged him to speed up. So we really do need to watch our speed coming down that hill. That's Yeah. Especially in that train, I think. In that engine. Yeah, because that's the one that can go over the the limit. I wouldn't be surprised if the tender bounces. That tender around. bounces around a lot. Yeah. I wouldn't I wouldn't be surprised if that's transferring some of that bounce into the cars behind it. Car bouncy bounce. I saw the cars. Oh, the one's up here on this side. I think. Is the other one directly below us, maybe? Was there still brake on some of my cars? 28% on the rear. Okay, I'm just going to leave those on because I think safety wise. Right, I fell. Oh, yeah, so there's one car right where you fell further down. Yeah. I can't see the other one. There's a lower level of track down here. What's going on with that? Oh, Javius is probably using it to get cars back up the hill. No. Oh, here's the other car. That's the one I saw. Oh, I thought there was one upside down further up here. Once we move through this, then we'll throw that other switch. Air brakes on. All right. Um, hey, here's the other one, Javius. Upside down over here. Other side of the track. All right, you grab that one. <laughs> I'll try to grab this one. You guys are clear now. Thank you. So how do I get back up? We'll move on down. Let's no speak. idea, but stay close to the bridge. Oh, there you are with that. As you're, so running, you got with, the other as you're running with the car. Oh, man. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Trying to find a place to get back up to the track. I'll tell you what, I am really happy with this Class 48 engine. It's small, so it's, like, easy to maneuver. Like, it's not... And then it's got that, uh, but it's got a lot of power. It's just, it's a good combination. It's almost like a high-speed Shea. There's Waterfall Trestle. There we go, there's one on the track at least. Can build you another one. <laughs> Did you pick up that other car? Or is it still down here? Oh, there uh, it is. No, I ran too far away. I didn't have any place to put it. Can you move the one that's sitting on the track to this new piece of track? I love oh, this. Okay. I'll tell you what, because of the new track lane tools, I, I was trying to steer clear of doing loops, but because of the new tools, it actually worked out pretty Where, well. Where is the new piece of track? I can't see it. It's a bridge. It's further up the hill. Oh, there it is. Okay. Are you yep. guys breaking stuff? Nope. We already broke stuff. Now we're trying to fix it. I see. So... Uh, that one's sort of too far in the hill to put a train on. Is it? 
That's yeah. unfortunate. Uh, hold on. Maybe I can come further up. And get I wonder this if there's one. a way we can keep that from happening. That's really bad. Oh, I didn't. I dropped it, I guess. I'm going to go and try and grab that. And I'll tell you what, out of all the engines, this one actually has pretty decent forward visibility. Like from inside the go. cab. I got right onto the top one. Okay. And then there's the cross piece that goes... But the, uh... <laughs> yeah, I see it. They're so busy. Oh, why did it miss the... What the heck? Oh, the other thing it helps is to set the brake. Ah, yes. So they don't roll away. I thought they came back on the track set. They don't? No. Oh, I thought they did automatically. Like There's... Okay, you're all the way up. Yeah. Mean... Oh, but I'm in front of the train now. Yeah. Try, okay. to, try to re-rail it back along the track. Oh, okay. Behind the train. Keep the brake on for a little bit longer. So I'm going to, I guess, I'll make another run if you guys are... Um, So do you think it'd be better to, I, I don't know, I don't know what to do about that, like it with a, with it with a derailing all the time like that. Well, I was in, encouraging him to catch up so I could jump from one train to the other. Oh, right. So it. So bad advice. Entirely been speed related and my okay. fault. So I wouldn't change anything based on, did you get behind it? Yeah, but now I can't back the train up because it's sliding down the hill. There we go. One problem go on that track, yeah. Okay. Yep. Let All me know right. when you're there. Back two cars are pinned. Cool. Um, and we still have some brake on our rear car here, but I don't want to take it off until we've stopped safely. Can you so pull we're forward all... a bit? We don't have a link here. Oh, okay. Uh, brakes are off. There we go. Um, and I should, let me unroll that. If I take some brakes off, we should roll down into that other, the rest of you. How many cars can you unload at the, at the platform? At the, uh, Coal platform three. I mean the ore platform. Dang it. Two, two on each one. You should be able to do three there, Arthur. But you got to be pretty perfectly lined up. All right, pilot, we're ready. Okay. Slowly this time. I can. Yep. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I put you on the impossible task. Well, we accomplished the impossible task. You I did. Think. And I just deleted my stairway to heaven. So she's <laughs> you can't see how we did it. She's buying. So I think probably three cars is enough then, isn't it? Since that unloads nicely on the platform and it's easy to manage. Yeah. Three or six. It's up to you. How much you want to fight it, how much you want to run. Right. <laughs> Do you think this engine can pull six? I don't think it can pull that many. <coughs> I mean, maybe because they're empties. I think it can pull six empties up to the mine. Okay. And you'd be pulling fulls down, so you should be okay, as long as it's got the brakes. As long Speaking as of which. As long as you oh, set God. car brakes adequately to control it down the hill, you should be fine. This could be a disaster. Oh, God. No, 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 oh, 
bring. St huh. So you said you did throw the switch for us to go back across. I did. Yes. Okay. Yep. I see it. Yeah. Well, there's a couple of places I can catch this. <laughs> What have you done? Yeah. <laughs> is there a car running full speed towards us? All I can say is dun 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 dun. dun, dun. We let her walk away without you. <laughs> is it coming back up the hill? Oh, it's yeah, definitely coming back up the hill. Yep. All right, I'm jumping off. I uh, I I think, I think, I'll be able to catch it. Well, I'm headed down. Okay. <laughs> so we'll sandwich her in between. Yeah, well, well, I think. You're on your own there, pilot. Okay. It's all right. I haven't derailed across this section. really think it was wise to say that <laughs> famous <laughs> famous last words oh boy yeah. is uh has she made it into your little helix loop yet no and i'm wondering why not because she should be coming up the loop right now but yet she's not here oh okay i see her moving now or not moving she stopped why is she stopped? Um, well, knowing... Uh, I just crashed with a train moving. I don't know. Will it stop automatically? Probably not. Um, no, it won't. <laughs> I've got her if you want to try to catch that one, Javius. <laughs> there's no, there's no catching it. I'm just going to hop to the sawmill and run back. Okay. <laughs> Intercept. Hey, there's El Del Norte. Okay, that worked out good. She she stalled out going up the hill because the brakes were on the car. The question is, can I get to the junction before? It may derail because it was moving. Let's see if I can get back in. Which way did you come out? Oh, I hadn't crossed the... Switch no, yet. but when you guys came down, did you come out across the crossover? Yes. No, uh, no, no. The other way. Yeah. The other way. Okay. <laughs> Just trying to pick the right track to oh. intercept her. Oh, yeah. Wait. Yes, yeah, so it's going to go uh, wait, right wait. at that. Wait, wait. I, I see her. I see her. Did you catch it? Spice, oh, God. Spice, well, Hang on, folks. I'll be right back. <laughs> You know, I'm so, this engine really does pull these cars right up the hill. You're, you're, you probably could at least add one more car to it. It is a little scary coming down the hill, though. The braking is... But I, I think that's true of any of these engines, isn't it? I Well, I think we're actually in kind of a new situation with the changes being made, the speeds and so forth. Right. But even what we remember probably isn't going to work kind of got to figure it all out again right um but i think it's i don't think you should have a problem with six cars or even eight but you really have to be careful right <laughs> to manage that load coming down the hill to keep things under control right Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Oh, wait, wait, what were you going to say? Oh, sorry. You're recording me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll shush. The, uh, I was just going to say, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed this video. We have, I think, successfully created our coal line. I've been up and down twice now. Well, once and a half, but with no issues on this train. <laughs> The other train is having difficulties, but that's, I think, more game glitchiness than it is anything else. 
So um, anyway, we are going to return to the coal station here and fill up and head back down the mountain. And uh, so anyway, that should do it for this episode. Have a great night. Be sure to subscribe. Thumbs up, always help. You guys want to say good night? Good night. Good night, guys. Good night. Say good night, Liza. No? Oh, we missed you, Micah. Yeah, we missed you, Mr. Micah. I can't wait to see you next week. <laughs>